What's going on guys? I am True Racer and I am about to uh, upgrade the old beautiful computer here. Got myself some new toys. I got the uh, Sabertooth motherboard Z97 Mark 1. Fancy stuff. New Intel i7 processor. This should really help me out. Especially with the video editing. And the GeForce GTX 970 graphics card. So, I am actually very excited and I'm bringing you guys along for the upgrade process. This is my first time ever really doing any major upgrades. I've, I've replaced the graphics card and uh, RAM in this computer, but nothing major like this. So this is going to be uh, this is going to be fun and adventurous, and I'm glad I have other YouTube videos to watch to help me through this. Um, so without further ado, let's uh. Well, that hopefully wraps up the hardware part of this shenanigans here. Got the, the motherboard and the new processor and the new graphics card in, and so far, so good. Uh, the only few little problems I ran into was this fan, uh, the old motherboard, this fan here. The old motherboard, uh, it's plug for it was back here, and the cable reached, but... The new motherboard's plug is down here, and it would not reach, so I had to move the fan from here to here. And because of these, this plastic armor it has on it, I had to make a little notch right there. But luckily I had my, my tools. I was able to do that quite successfully. The only other problem, or another problem I had was I had to use the stock fan. Um, I had an upgraded CPU cooler, but it didn't fit because of this armor again, unfortunately, but uh, I, uh, It'll be okay for now, but It just means I won't be able to overclock it, but it does mean I'll have to go water-cooled to really cool down 
Okay, so that was that. And the only other little thing was just the, the graphics card was here. I had to move it down one. Um, that was about it. I give the cable management about a 3 out of 10 because I think I'm probably going to be back in here within about 30 minutes because I probably didn't plug something in or I didn't do something right. But hopefully that's not the case. But uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's plug it in and uh, give it a go, I guess. Yes, so I had those plugged in wrong. Luckily, this board comes with a little handy-dandy uh, device that you plug it all in, and then you plug the whole thing in. So hopefully this is it. I've got about a 95% chance I think it is. So let's plug it in and plug it in and turn it on. I'm back. Progress has been made. It turns on now, but uh, nothing to the displays. I noticed the graphics card is not turning on by the fans not spinning on the graphics card. So, re-examine the graphics card, see where I messed that one up, and hopefully that is it. Hopefully. All right. So there you have it. It is uh, it is working again, finally. The uh, the last nail in the coffin was the I had the uh, Sato plug in the wrong place. I was using the method of if the shoe fits, plug it in, right? But apparently uh, the Sato cables are used for many different things, and the one that's supposed to be for the hard drive um, is cannot be used for the one for the USB drive. But my old motherboard, it was down low. And in the new one, it was in a different spot, but the USB was down low. <sighs> we figured it out thanks to uh, Mr. Mr. Hattie. You may know him. He's a fellow streamer and tuber as well. So definitely big thanks to him. It's up and running. So now I just got to download everything and reset up everything. So that's another, uh, <sighs> another long, tedious process. But definitely, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video it was definitely uh not perfect by any means um and maybe i will uh do an updated video on how much more awesome my computer is but nevertheless guys thank you so much for watching until next time stay true and race on with a better computer dun, dun, dun.